Hello again. In this video I'm going to show you how you set up the push alerts um, to send a, a message to your phone uh, if somebody sets off the motion sensor or the motion detector. Uh, fairly straightforward. First of all you need to go into the main menu then you need to go into alarm and motion detect and you have to make sure that you have this mobile reported ticked. Now when I first tried this on mine I did not actually have that option on this screen. So I got in touch with Sansco again and uh, very quickly they came back to me uh, and they sent me a new bin file which was an upgrade uh, which I downloaded onto a USB stick and I put it into my box and I went to the upgrade option. So if I just get rid of that for a moment what you need to do is you go onto your menu just get rid of that for a moment and go into advanced and then you would click the upgrade once you've got that file and actually as I've got mine still plugged in that is the actual file that they send you. Uh, you click on the upgrade the machine then automatically upgrades uh, then reboots and then when you switch it back on again when you go back into the alarm and motion detect you will have that option there. So you need to click on that okay make sure that's working um, I also found that in system net service make sure that the mobile reported is enabled and that the alarm server is switched on as well now just click on it and it gives you the option of on and off once that's done you're ready to go now the next thing is on the XMI app on my phone I've got two apps for this. I've got the XMI which is XMEYE and I've got the Explorer app. Um, they both do the same thing and they're both very very similar. The only difference is on the XMI I can set the push alerts to go and I receive them visually and the phone uh, buzzes or vibrates but on the Explorer app I can actually get it to make the pinging noise as well. I've checked both the settings and they're identical so why one does it and the other one doesn't I've no idea but I'm going to go in on the Explorer app so you click on that uh, the piece of paper is literally there to stop you identifying my my um, obviously my account um, you can't see the password anyway um, they have to cloud log in here you can't actually just local log in because the push alerts don't work so you have to register and then what you do is you just click on the cloud login and it will go into your account. Once you've done that, I'm just going to move my tape, click on the camera and I'm just going to option there. So that's just the front view of my house. So click on the home button, go into alarm config and what you have to do is make sure these alarm settings are done. Okay and then make sure you save them. The other one is when you go back to your device list you get the little icon in the top corner, you press on that and then you get the alarm push setting. So click on that and then just switch it on in there like so. That is now set to go. And there we go, so I've got the ping, that's obviously something just gone by and I've got the alert up the top there as well. So um, it's quite straightforward but you do have to have that cloud account working otherwise it doesn't work. So uh, hopefully that helps you. Uh, any questions ask and I'll try and help you. If I can't just contact Sansco and they will do it themselves. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video somewhere. Bye for now. Bye.